Good evening. I would now like to invite Sri Anil Shastri, Chairman, Board of Governors, Lal Bahadur Shastri Institute of Management, to kindly deliver the welcome speech. Respected Raspati ji, respected Uparashpati ji, distinguished guests, diplomats, and ladies and gentlemen. I, on my own behalf and on behalf of the members of the jury and members of the Board of Governors, take great pleasure in welcoming our respected Raspati ji, Sri Panamukhaji, and respected Uparashpati ji, Zanab Hamid Ansari sahab. I welcome our distinguished guests, diplomats, members of parliament, and members of the media. It is also my privilege to welcome Srimati Tessie Thomas, the recipient of the prestigious Lal Bahadur Shastri National Award for Public Administration, Academics, and Management for the year 2012. I am grateful to the Honorable President for having consented to give away this coveted award to Srimati Tessie Thomas today. Thank you, sir, for your precious time. The award was instituted to perpetuate the memory of one of the greatest sons of India, Lal Bahadur Shastri. And it honors every year an Indian who is an exceptionally outstanding and distinguished business leader, management practitioner, public administrator, scientist, educator, or an institution builder for his or her sustained individual contributions and achievements of high professional order and excellence. The awardee is selected by a panel of eminent persons from the field of judiciary, academics, public life, and bureaucracy. As a parliamentarian, Lal Bahadur Shastri was outspoken, forthright in criticism, and always stood for healthy opposition. He used to take keen interest in the business of the house and spoke eloquently by putting forth his arguments logically before the house he always kept himself away from the lust of power and office, and his main objective was to serve and fight for the national cause. Lal Bahadur Shastri always believed in the need for responsive and agile administration. And it was during his tenure as prime minister that the Administrative Reforms Commission and the Central Vigilance Commission were created. He always promoted and encouraged establishment of quality institutions. National Dairy Development Board in Anand was one of them. His vision was later translated into reality when the Lal Bahadur Shastri National Academy of Administration was established in Masuri by the government of India and inaugurated by the then Prime Minister, Srimati Indira Gandhi. His tenure as Minister of Railways, however, came to an abrupt end in 1956, when a major railway accident happened in, near Arirul in Madras, in about 140 people lost their lives. Owning moral responsibility for the disaster, Mr. Shastri tendered his resignation. Perhaps the greatest tribute to Shastriji in his lifetime was given by his mentor, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. Quote, I would like to say that it has been not only in the government but for long, my good fortune and privilege to have him as a comrade and colleague, and no man can wish for a better comrade in any undertaking. He further said, a man of the highest integrity, loyalty, devoted to ideals, and a man of conscience is called Lal Bahadur. 
it is my pleasure to say a few words about Srimati Tessie Thomas, who is to receive the Shastri Award in a short while from now at the hands of the Honorable President of India. Srimati Tessie Thomas, in a career spanning over 24 years, has contributed in various fields, such as guidance, control, inertial navigation, trajectory simulation, and mission design. She has been associated with the Agni programs right from their developmental stages. She has designed the guidance scheme for long-range missile systems, which is used in all Agni missiles. She also designed and developed an energy management guidance scheme for the first time in the country, used in solid propelled long-range systems. I am sure that the younger generation of today will draw inspiration from the example of Semiti Tessi Thomas in their endeavors. I once again welcome Raspati Ji, Up Raspati Ji, Semiti Tessi Thomas, and our distinguished guests for today's awards ceremony. Thank you very much. I would now like to take the honor to introduce Srimati Tessie Thomas. Srimati Tessie Thomas was born in 1963 to a businessman father and a homemaker mother at Alapara in Kerala. She is an electrical engineer with ME in guided missiles. She started her career at IIT Pune as a faculty member in guided missiles in the year 1987. She thereafter joined Inertial Navigation Group as Scientist B in 1988 in Hyderabad. Sri Thomas has been associated with the Agni programs right from their developmental stages. She has designed the guidance scheme for long-range missile systems, which is used in all Agni missiles. She has also designed and developed an energy management guidance scheme for the first time in the country used in solid propelled long range systems for which she was conferred with the Agni Self Reliance Award in the year 2001. In her career spanning over 24 years, Srimati Thomas has contributed in various fields such as guidance, control, inertial navigation, trajectory simulation and mission design. She is the Associate Project Director for Agni 1 two, and three systems. Currently, she is the project director of Agni 4, which is a major project with the state-of-the-art technologies. The Agni 4 was successfully flight tested on 15th November 2011. This is the state-of-the-art system with a range to launch mass ratio of 15% better than its equivalent missiles across the world. Srimati Thomas is also the project director for the Long Range Agni 5 system, which was successfully flight tested on 19th April 2012. As the technology director for mission design and system analysis group of advances systems laboratory, she significantly contributed in development of various systems associated with missiles technology. Srimati Thomas is a fellow of Indian National Academy of Engineers and Associate Fellow of Andhra Pradesh Academy of Science. She is also a life member of Astronomical Society of India, Indian National Society for Aerospace and Related Mechanism, and the Indian Society for Advancement of Materials and Processes Engineering. She is the recipient of many DRDO awards like the Agni Award for Excellence in Self-Reliance 2001, Award for Pathbreaking Research 2007, and DRDO Scientist of the Year 2008 by Institute of Engineers 2009. Srimati Thomas has been named Woman of the Year 2009 by India Today and also received DRDO Performance Excellence Award in the year 2012. May I now take the honor to request Honorable President of India to confer award onto Srimati Tessie Thomas. In recognition of her outstanding contribution for making India self-reliant in the field of missile technology, the 13th Lal Bahadur Shastri National Award for Excellence in Public Administration, 
Academics and Management for 2012 is being conferred on Srimati Tessie Thomas. Terva Lal Bahadur Shastri Rashtriya Puraskar Srimati Tessie Thomas ko Maha Mahim Dwara Aaj Dinank 1 October 2012 ko pradhan kiya jata hai. Srimati Tessie Thomas. His Excellency, Honorable President of India, Sri Pranab Mukherjee, Honorable Vice President, Dr. Mohammed Hamid Ansari, Chairman Board of Governors, Lal Bahadur Shastri Institute of Management, Sri Anil Shastri, members of the jury, board members, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I am extremely humbled and honored to receive this prestigious national award in the name of our late Prime Minister, Sri. Lal Bahadur Shastri and express my sincere gratitude to the board members and members of the jury who recognized my work to earn me this award. Courage and self-respect were the two virtues which took deep root in Lal Bahadur Shastri ji from his childhood. He was the leader of the common man. All his lifetime, Shastri ji was known for his honesty and humility. He tackled many elementary problems like food shortage, unemployment, and poverty. This was the beginning of famous Green Revolution. Apart from Green Revolution, Lal Bahadur Shastriji was also instrumental in promoting White Revolution. The National Diary Development Board was formed in 1965 during his tenure as Prime Minister. A man with great courage who believed in actions rather than words. His tireless dedication to the cause of improving uh, the welfare of Indian people is an inspiration to all those who took look to the future with hope and confidence. The constitution of an administrative reforms commission to streamline public administration was one among many steps he took to make administration quick and responsive. He also created the Central Vigilance Commission to check corruption in government. He simultaneously felt the importance of developing high quality institutions, which could provide a stream of administrators and managers for the future. The 21st century is about the management of knowledge and information. Today, we have the intellectual ability and technological strength, which enables us to a sustained economic development of a country. DRDO has provided me the opportunity to execute my skills and contribute towards the strategic missile development program. Working for the Agni program, its technology development and management has been a great challenge. It gives me an immense satisfaction and encouragement to achieve technical advances and research in this field. I take this opportunity to express my sincere gratitude to all my seniors and my team members for their continuous support. Our vision should be to make India prosperous by establishing world-class science and technology base, which is possible by providing quality education and good health to our young generation. Thank you all, and Jai Hind. I would now like to take the honor to request Sri Pranab Mukherjee, Honorable President of India, to kindly say a few words. Vice President, Honorable Sri Muhammad Hamid Ansari, Chairman, Lal Bahadur Shastri Institute of Management, Sri Anil Shastri, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen. At the very outset, I congratulate the recipient of the award, Mary Thomas, and I am proud to say that she has made our country proud of her initiative, dynamism, and moving towards the self-reliance in one of the most important seg segments of our national security. Our policy is quite clear. We are to 
defend our frontiers, we ought to protect our national interests, but we have no intention of aggression. Our policy is not directed towards establishing sphere of control or to have any commercial interests at the cost of others, but at the same time to protect our own national interests with all the strength and determination we have at our command. Her initiatives, dynamism and contribution